incredibly basic but incredibly important for your networking and for your interface uh, with Experian FX TransUnion. And that is this specific detail. These special stamps, okay, these special stamps, they're Pixar flavored and you slap them in the upper right hand corner of an envelope that looks like this. It's a number 10 envelope. These are free ones that I got from this place. So what you do with these stamps is you don't want to just get the ones at the grocery store. You actually want to get these United States Postal Service stamps from the USPS store on eBay. The reason for that is it takes another step and it looks like a piece of real mail from a real person. Sort of looks like a female uh, because they're kind of girly stamps. So if you're a guy, you should definitely use this. And the reason for that is that you want that piece of mail, which by law, Experian FX, TransUnion, uh, Chase, Victoria's Secrets, uh, P.O. Box in Columbus, Ohio, these, these credit institutions are required to answer and uh, deal with a piece of paper mail. Your, your use of a Pixar stamp, not just a, an American flag stamp, which by the way, I love the American flag. I just don't recommend using it on a postal stamp in uh, networking and interfacing and uh, communicating with the oligopoly of credit bureaus. And the reason for that is you want to add an extra level of personability. The other thing that you're communicating to them is that you're getting mentored by Larry Chang. And when that happens, the credit bureaus absolutely just fold because they know that you are listening to a person who is leveraging the Fair Credit Reporting Act. Write that down, Fair Credit Reporting Act. Now, you think that these stamps, because they're special and because they're forever stamps and because they have uh, Steve Jobs, Movie Studios uh, characters like Mater, and Buzz Lightyear and the Ratatouille guy and the mouse and Lightning McQueen. You think that they would cost extra, they actually cost the same. And the US Postal Service, they don't charge you shipping. So you actually get these stamps uh, at face value. And you're actually buying something for less because right now they're 49 cents. In the future, it's gonna cost like a buck or two to send uh, one envelope full of stuff to the credit bureaus. So when that happens, you've locked in 49 cents because it's a forever stamp. That's what part of the 31 envelopes method is, is you wanna use stamps and there's stamps that are made in the USA, but you just wanna use a specialized stamp that is unavailable uh, at the Safeway.